embassy sponsors a write-a-thon this time of year, and we focus on 15 different uh, prisoners of conscience around the world. And we asked, we have letters that are pre-made out. We asked uh, folk to come by, sign one of the letters, make a, maybe a personal comment or two, give us a dollar because it costs us 98 cents to mail them, and uh, we mail them for you. And they go from diverse places: uh, Iran, Azerbaijan, China, Mexico. Um, and we, we asked folks to, uh, but we have found in Amnesty that hard copy mail is very, very effective. When they get bags full of mail relative to one prisoner of conscience, it gets people's attention way more than any kind of electronic mail. So, awesome. And that's what we're doing here today. Cool. So what are some of the issues that you're addressing here today specifically? Well, speci spe specifically, um, uh, the local chapter has adopted a uh, uh, specific prisoner of conscience. Her name is uh, Mao Heng Peng. She's um, a, a woman in China who has uh, uh, been in prison, tortured, abused. She's now under house arrest. Uh, she, uh, uh, she's protesting forced abortion, which she was uh, forced to undergo, um, forced eviction, and uh, a variety of human rights issues that she stood up for and has um, put her in jeopardy with the Chinese government. So we have adopted her, and we are uh, have a letter campaign going specifically for her uh, from Southern Oregon. Okay, and so that's that's what's what this table over here is all about, here's, right? Here's a, here's a petition for Mao Heng Fang right here. Okay. People can sign. And then uh, this young lady is in the midst of choosing a picker prisoner of conscience of one of the 15 sponsored by Amnesty International uh, internationally. And um, she's going to pick one of these, sign off on it, make a comment, and uh, put an envelope and it'll be mailed. Awesome, awesome. So let's see, there was another question. Oh, I know. Um, how was it that you ended up being here today? What's your relationship with the uh, Occupy Ashland movement? Well, um, we're here not so much with Occupy Ashland, but uh, so to right celebrate Human Rights um, okay. human, human Rights Day. Okay. And there's going to be a reading of the, of the Universal Declaration of Human okay. Rights here, I believe, well, at 4 o'clock. Okay. Uh, Representative Peter Buckley is here. He's going to speak, and he's also going to support. Uh, uh, he's also going to support Amnesty International. Okay, cool. And who organized the event that made this all happen here today? You know, I, I, um, you don't even know. I, I, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. Um, Mr. Lefkowitz can probably help us with that. Who, who organized this here today? This, this is organized by Occupy Ashland John Stern. Okay. Okay. Great. Awesome. So uh, this is a nice little collaboration. Uh, this is being live streamed. I hope you don't mind. Um, we have zero viewers right now, but it will go on our YouTube. <laughs> and I'm producing a program called Occupy Small Street. Um, small Town America gets occupied. And we're showing how, you know, it's like we, we know how Wall Street occupies, but we don't really know how small towns can do this and how it can make a change. And how, and it, it's really cool what Ashland is doing here, working with all these different organizations and working with in process and um, you know I think that Ashland is a real model for what other small towns can be doing if they're not already so I hope so yeah anyway thank you for uh, sharing